action. Welcome to my first coronavirus video diary. My name is David Babcock. For those of you who don't know me, I am a paranormal investigator. One of the leading ones in the country, actually, if not the leading one. And for those of you who know me, shush. <laughs> Uh, I've just been. I've just got a new stand, so I'm going to be doing some um, video diaries, hopefully daily, if if my diary um, permits it. But uh, I'm going to do a diary for all of this, just to tell you how things are going on, and to talk about my day. So today I've had a nice day. I went for a little drive, essential, and then when I got back, I had a big lunch because I'd, I'd not eaten since the early morning, and I was very very hungry. I thought I was going to faint, so I uh, had a really big lunch, and then I went on to my internet stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Steve David Babcock, and my stream started a bit slow because I was really full, and when I'm full, I get all sleepy like a baby, um, but then as the stream progressed, it was quite a nice one, we had a lot of people in, uh, which was quite fun, and then we watched a uh, playback of last night, of when me and some friends uh, played Call of Duty Warzone and um, won for the first time ever. It's quite a momentous achievement. And now I'm sat here and I've just finished my stream. I'm boiling up because I don't want the fan on because it's noisy. And so I'm just about to start sweating my tits off and I can feel that I need another poo. So this won't be that long because it needs to come out. And that's what poo does. I will give you this update. I'm a bit cynical about the uh, coronavirus situation. I'm just starting to get a little bit worried uh, that uh, the way of life that we had and took for granted um, has gone for a very, very long time. Uh, I think that um, this might go on. I mean, the biggest thing that's fearing me at the moment is that it doesn't seem to be any proof that if you get it, you're immune from it. So until, presumably on that, until you get a vaccine, then uh, what are you going to do? You have to stay inside, aren't you? And then even when this is all over, I don't know. If, if we get a vaccine, it seems that a lot of things will be solved. But then some people are saying that you'll need a vaccine for the vaccine, isn't it? I don't know. Um. It's a very strange time at the moment. Very strange time. You just kind of have to hope for the best, don't you? And I think that it's, it's strange because we can't analyse it. When you're in something, you can't analyse it. I think that's very, very telling. I think we're all just very kind of just day by day. Like they could tell us anything tomorrow and you just, you just accept it because that's what you do when you're in survival mode. It's like, oh, right, well, we have to... Like, a month ago, if someone said, you're all going to be locked in your, your houses and if you go outside, there's a chance you could get a virus that can kill you. He'd be like, Jesus Christ, what? Oh, my God. But when you're in it, your brain kind of turns into a mode that helps you survive it by just not filtering it all in and just going, right, what's next? What's next? What do we do next? And I think that after this touch wood, when this finishes, which I hope is sooner than later, Oh my God, there's going to be such a release. I think they'll be weeping. People will be weeping from the release because you don't know just how stressed you are right now. My uh, my my uh, uh, prediction is quite stressed. Um, but yeah, I've not heard anything new about it today, significantly. So we'll just wait until the, the next update, I guess. I think we I heard something about we had record numbers of deaths last night, which is another sad topic because... You know, that's just a number, but every one of those deaths is tragic. Every one of those deaths is the end of a story. It's someone's father, son, daughter, wife, uncle, auntie, brother, sister. And you just rolled up into a statistic, which I think is one of the worst things ever. I think a, a lot of importance gets put on life. And life is important. It's important to you. Nobody goes through life viewing you know just narrating someone else's life every person has their own story and their own kind of development and their history and their first kiss and things like that and for that to end as just being one of many i think is is tragic and, and then even more tragic the fact that people are dying on their own because the loved ones aren't allowed to be in with them when they switched off i think it's horrifying 
but hopefully it will change soon. This got really dark in I'm gonna be Don't you want me, baby? Anyway, that's it. Hopefully I'll do another one of these. I mean, hopefully, I've got nothing else to do. I'll do another one of these tomorrow and I'll be in a different setting. I hope to God this is recorded because I'm not doing it again. Stay safe. Save lives. Kiss the NHS.